And if you go to the bottom of the blog, you can download the entire Logic multi-track session and all of the loops for free. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm Ryan Groose, founder of Yurt Rock, and welcome to our first ever episode of Beat of the Week. Let's get into it. Beat of the Week from Yurt Rock. So every beat or every song or any kind of artwork really starts with some sort of inspiration, or I like to call it the spark. Um, and in today's beat, that spark was triggered by a guitar loop from Ella Feingold. If you don't know who Ella is, check her out. She's played with everybody from Erica Badu to Kanye to Jay-Z. Um, she's just an incredible, soulful, funky guitar player. So I was scrolling through Ella's uh, catalog, and this one loop jumped out at me. Here, I'll play it for you guys. So very sparse but melodic. And that right there was enough for me to be like, okay, that's something I can, I can work with. Um, but then I kind of went deeper into her catalog of loops and found another kind of a counterpart, uh, just more of a straight rhythm part that would work with it. So the next loop was this one. Kind of a very staccato rhythmic part with, and there's lots of reverb going on too. But really just eighth notes, but she swings the feel at the end of each phrase. So together, those two sound like this. Cool. So anyway, once we had that, or I had that, I was like, what would happen if I added another percussion loop before I even touched the drum kit? And we had also just released a new pack um, from Ben Elon, also known as One Man Tribe. And he plays a crazy drum kit that consists of all kinds of African and Middle Eastern and Indian percussion and drums. And plays it like a drum set, but with you know rhythms from each of those regions and kind of it's a melting pot of rhythm. So I was digging through his volume one release and I found this loop, which had a nice feel to it. So it's definitely more swung than what Ella was doing, but it still works together. So let's combine all three of those. So what I started to hear in my head was kind of a James Gadsden type groove. Let's take a quick look at today's drum kit. It's a USA custom Gretsch. Bebop sizes with a Ludwig eight inch mahogany. My apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> and guys, I'm sorry about the sandals. It's, it's laundry day. On the toms, we have ambassador fiber skins. Tune low, same with the floor tom, but we also have a big fat snare drum, snare dampener on it just to kind of dampen the floor tom. And the hats are super cheap Agazarians, if that's how you pronounce it. Bought these at Guitar Center like 10 years ago. Super cheap, super thin, and they sound super cool. Kind of like old Zildjian Ks, really thin. But together, this kit works pretty well. And as far as microphones go, I'm using all Audix mics on the kick, snare, and toms. The D4, the D6, the D whatever, they all sound great. And they're pretty affordable. So if you're looking for a good collection of drum set mics, check out the Audix. And same goes with these overheads. These are Rode NT5s. Super affordable. Sound great. This is kind of my second setup here, my little remote studio. So let's take a quick look at the recording gear. As you can see, I have some assorted beverages, caffeinated and water, and a cliff bar. But as far as preamps go, kick, snare, and toms are going through the APIs, overheads through the UA Apollo, 
and room mic was going through the UA610 along with the compressor. Okay, so let's nerd out for a bit and take a quick look at the Logic session in a bit more detail. Um, let me play the tracks back. And as you can see, I am not using any plugins on the guitar or the percussion. They were already processed through so much analog uh, gear and tape. They already had kind of the, the vibe printed to them, so I, I, did, I didn't want to mess with that. Um, but as I'll show you, I needed to, to make the acoustic drums kind of fit that vibe and kind of have a retro feel. So let's look at what we're using to achieve that. Um, on the mix, I'm using a combination of uh, Shep's, pretty much all Shep's, omni-channel uh, plugins on the kick, snare, toms, and overheads. Uh, and then on the room mic, which I'm not really using in the mix, because um, I wanted, in, in the end, I wanted a tighter sound. But if you do pull it up, you'll see that there's, there's a compressor and the UA oxide tape, which is a phenomenal plugin as far as kind of getting some extra saturation into your uh, drum or any instrument really um, into that sound. Okay, now let's check out the drum bus to see what I did to kind of match those vintage tones of the guitar and the percussion. I always like to use, pretty much always, this API 2500 on the drum bus. Acts as a great sort of glue, sonic glue to the, the sound. It really, um, if you turn it off, you'll hear the dynamics are obviously a little bit more all over the place. Then with it back on, it's, it's just kind of a, a more controlled um, and full sound. Then after that, I've been checking out the, the Knock plugin from Decap. has a lot of punch and saturation to it, some really nice distortion, and even like some sub, which you can really go crazy if you want, but it was a little too much for this track. If I turn it off, again, you'll hear it's it doesn't knock. It doesn't knock as much uh, if you put it on, all right? So yeah, knock. And then last but not least is probably my favorite plugin, one of my favorite plugins in the world. It's the RC20 Retro Color. So like I said, the guitar and percussion had, had already been, you know, tracked through analog gear and tape and had this, you know, very warm vintage vibe. So for the drums to match, um, I leaned pretty heavily on the RC20. If I turn it off, just super clean, you know, modern drums, because that's how, how we were tracking everything, um, especially uh, in the digital realm. But if you turn it on, you get this nice, I mean, obviously there's presets. This is one of the vinyl presets. Um, you get that vinyl noise, even the wobble, you can turn it way up, like, a, you know, a record that's sat in the sun for too long. Um, the distortion is great. Um, Space is the reverb. Magnetic is another thing you can really crank up and, and get more of a vinyl sound happening. Um, so that's the chain on the drums. So if you want to hear everything together again. So that's it. So if you want to download this, um, head over to the blog, scroll down. There's a big download button. You can get the entire Logic session for free plus all these loops that we used uh, to, to create the beat to start with. So Ella's two guitar loops, Ben's percussion loop, my drum loop, and a loop of the final mix. So please feel free to do whatever you guys want with this. Make new songs, make new tracks, make new beats, post it on your socials. Um, I just ask that you tag us so we can share it with everybody. Tag Yurt Rock, tag Beat of the Week, um, and we'll repost, reshare. Um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube because we're going to be doing this every week. Completely different beats. I might be in Ableton next week. I might be in Pro Tools. Who knows? Pro Tools. Pro Tools. Um, and there will be some guest artists too coming up. So some exciting guest artists. Uh, so every week it's going to be fun, different, and there will always be the free download to the multi-track session. So thanks for hanging out with me. Um, until next week, take care and I'll see you guys soon. All right. Good night.